Let us start instrument transformers. What is meant by instrument transformer? If the transformer which is used in conjunction with the instrument, it is known as instrument transformer. The transformers which are used in conjunction with the instrument is known as instrument transformer. Instrument and transformer, both the two related. Instrument means either meter or any instrument that means voltmeter ammeter or wattmeter in conjunction with that we are using the transformer why we are using current transformer potential transformer there are two types of transformers there are two types of transformers they are one is current transformer and potential transformer current transformer used in conjunction with the ammeter whereas potential transformer is used in conjunction with the potential Potential means voltmeter in conjunction with the voltmeter. Actually, to extend the range of ammeter, suppose one ammeter 10 amps measure, it measures. If you want to measure 1000 amps, how can you measure by using shunt and multipliers? You can measure the ammeter, you can extend the range of ammeter, you can extend the range of voltmeter. But in heavy currents, high voltage circuits, measurement cannot be done by using this method of range of extension because huge losses will appear due to these huge losses the transformers we are using with the instruments that is meant by meters those transformers are current transformer and potential transformer now current transformer what is current transformer you can see the diagram the primary winding of current transformer is very less number of turns and it is connected in series with the load. The primary winding will be connected in series with the load. Secondary winding is connected to the ammeter. Most of the current transformers ratios are 100 by 5 ratio. 200 by 5, 200 amps by 5 amps. The secondary amps will be 5 amps. Similarly, 5 amp ammeter we can use to measure 1000 by 5 amps. 1000 by 5 amps means so when primary current is 1000 amps the secondary current will be 5 amperes are you remember that current transformer standard ratio it is secondary current must be 5 primary current may be vary because up to 5 amps ammeter we can use we can use simply the construction of 5 amp ammeter also very simple construction of 5 amps ammeter you can easily construct and insulation also very easily provide for 5 amps if it is a 1 kilo amp or 2000 amps if it is current is we can't construct a ammeter for the 1000 amps because for 1000 amps it requires more insulation it requires more insulation hence we go for ct normal ct is symbol of ct will be like this we can see the symbol of symbol of ct the symbol of CT will be this is the symbol of CT normally why we represent a primary winding primary winding has very less number of turns few turns and it is connected series with the load and it is connected series with the load secondary winding has more number of turns what is meant by transformer you know but what is instrument transformer we have to remember that current transformer and potential transformer both are used known as instrument transformers Normally, the large alternating current which cannot be sensed or passed through normal ammeters and current coils of wattmeter, energy meters can easily current measured by the use of current transformer. Normally, the primary current of CT, this is the primary winding, the primary current of CT depends on load current. That is important. It depends on load this is the load in our normal transformer or power transformer the primary current depends on secondary current you know that in normal transformer how it will be the primary current will be 
it is primary winding it is secondary winding it is normal power transformer if you consider primary and secondary the primary current depends on secondary current in normal transformer but in case of ct it is another difference is one of the difference is primary current depends on load whatever be the load 1000 amps if it is a load 1000 amps is flowing through primary winding secondary will be induced current will be 5 amps i2 i1 and i2 one thing we have to remember is primary winding has less number of turns whereas secondary has more number of turns in case of ct one more thing is the primary winding constructed with thick wire cross sectional area will be more hence cross sectional area will be heavy for primary winding whereas secondary winding will be thin wire but more number of turns whereas primary winding has less number of turns but cross sectional area will be more whereas secondary winding has large number of turns but cross sectional area or conductor size will be less to step down the current simply the ct step downs the current according to the meter ct used to measure the current with the help of a meter in case of ct konni ct lu chuste manaku only secondary winding maatrame untundi primary winding bar ante conductor e primary winding ga act avutundi suppose a conductor ఇట్లా వెళ్తుంది అనుకోండి అక్కడ కరెంట్ మెజర్ చేయాలనుకుంటే సిటీ బార్ టైప్ సిటీ ఆర్ వౌన్ టైప్ సిటీ టూ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ సిటీస్ ఆర్ దే కన్స్ట్రక్షన్లీ కండక్టర్ ఇలా వెళ్తూ ఉంటుంది దానిపైన సిటీ కాయిల్ ఉంటుంది దట్ ఈస్ సెకండరీ వైండింగ్ ఈ సిటీ కాయిల్ ఏం చేస్తుందంటే స్టెప్ డౌన్ చేసి మన మీటర్ కనెక్ట్ చేసి ఉంటుంది ఫైవ్ యామ్స్ అమ్ మీటర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అమ్ మీటర్ ఇలా అంటే the bar carrying the current may may not be may be acts as primary and the conductor itself acts as primary coming to construction of cts construction of tcs there are two types of construction of current transformers one is wound type current transformer another one is bar type current transformer wound type another one is bar type current transformer the current transformers are wound type and bar type in wound type current transformer thick wire and number of secondary number of resistors are more bar type current transformer there is only secondary winding whereas primary winding is conductor itself acts as conductor coming to the various theories current current transformer how they are working ratio and phase angle error will come what are the theory about current transformer it is similar to transformer turns ratio will be primary number of uh, primary turns by number of secondary turns is by ip equal to np by ns as usually transformer in case of a transformer what is the n turns ratio turns ratio n equal to turns ratio n equal to in normal transformer or k we assume that uh, k also we can assume n2 by n1 n2 by n1 is the turns ratio but in the current transformer theory or uh, turns ratio n equal to is by ip or np by ns transformation ratio equal to k equal to ip by is similar to that similar to normal transformer similar to normal transformer the uh, the circuit diagram in uh, equivalent circuit of uh, current transformer is similar because primary winding has resistance primary winding has resistance primary winding as resistance and reactance and no load current magnetizing component of current and loss component of current working current or not x not similarly secondary winding as induced mf is es and ep and rs or xs rs and xs are prior secondary winding resistance and reactance like this equivalent circuit similar to power transformer we have to assume so many ratio so many terms vp is primary voltage plus secondary voltage will be induced voltage will be es like that is and rp xp like that after assuming so many terms we are going for derivation of uh, ratio error and phase angle error of current transformer you can see this is the phasor diagram of current transformer we know that turns ratio n equal to ip by is turns ratio n equal to ip by is 
from that IP equal to NIS. If you want to transfer primary current into secondary reversed current, that is NIS. Now, what is the derivation of actual ratio or transformation ratio? It is also known as derivation of actual ratio is the phasor diagram. How to draw phasor diagram? First, we consider working flux. Phi we consider first. The flux is the main cause. Phi we consider as a reference. Magnetizing component of current is responsible for flux. After that, IE or last component of current IE this is in in compo in quadrature with that if you resultant of IE and and IM that is I naught I naught after that you can draw first we consumed assumed as a downward the, the total downwards is secondary terms and uh, and above IM that is in the first this in this area we assumed that it is a secondary related terms and primary related terms are assumed as in primary both are in upwards upward direction we assumed both secondary and primary and a downwards phasor diagram downwards totally yes es assume that es is the induced emf to get es we required vs secondary voltage vs and ISRS is the ISRS such a resistance drop reactance drop will be 90 degrees to this reactance drop and if you join this ISZS then if you join this you will get ES it is ES now IS VS now the current in secondary winding will be lags because of inductive nature IS lags at an angle now n is is transferred to primary side we are multiplying with tons ratio after that uh, nis and i naught resultant will be primary current nis and i naught resultant current will be primary current here to draw to obtain the ratio actual transformation ratio we required all the quantities has to be transferred to primary side all the quantities should be transferred to primary side now it is now it is assumed that O A B we are extending NIS to up to some point B and this is IP IP and one triangle we are forming the triangle you can see one triangle we are forming that is O it is O and origin is O The origin is O and O A B C and O. It is one triangle you can draw here. You can draw here. The triangle is A B C is one triangle. And we assumed that phase angle is alpha is the phase angle between I M and I naught. And delta is the phase angle between O A and E P. O A and E P is the delta phase angle. By assuming so many terms, we are forming a one triangle. After that, we are deriving this angle BAC is 90 minus del plus or del minus alpha now we are applying sine rule we are applying sine rule for this sine 90 minus del minus alpha is BC by AC if you apply the sine theta a theta if you apply the sine for this BC you will get AC sine 90 minus del plus alpha therefore BC can be written as I naught cos del plus alpha now if you apply the cosine rule then again you will obtain a b s i naught sine del plus alpha from the right angle triangle from the right angle triangle o c square equal to o b square plus c b square now we are obtaining all this i p by i s ratio will be in a right angle triangle i p square from the triangle i p o c square equal to o a square plus a b square plus b c square like that if you apply then you can substitute in place of o, in place of o c you can substitute i p similarly o a is known as n i s a b can be written as 
from the triangle we obtained i naught sin plus sin of uh, del plus alpha square plus uh, again bc is known as i naught cos del plus alpha square if you remove this and you do solvation of this if you do the solvation by applying sine of uh, del plus alpha a square plus b square plus 2ab after that uh, you can get ip equal to n square plus 2n is i naught sine del plus alpha plus i naught square therefore transformation ratio r equal to ip by is we are substituting the ip and is Now, if you substitute IP and IS, then practically for adjusting I naught is an I naught is very very small as compared to NIS. After substituting this, or R is the transformation ratio. R is known as IP by IS. In place of IP, we substituted what we derived previously. Now we substituted that. You will get uh, an approximate value or equal to n plus sin naught by s sin del cos alpha plus cos del sin alpha this is the ratio transformation ratio or actual transformation ratio or equal to n plus i naught i s sin del plus sin del cos alpha plus cos del sin alpha similarly what is what is phase angle what is the phase difference of induced emfs from primary to secondary secondary to primary if the induced emfs are in normal transformer what is the phase angle in normal transformer the theta is the phase angle is 180 degrees 180 degrees will be phase shift will be there from primary winding voltage to secondary winding induced dmf or induced dmfs the two emfs induced in primary and secondary the normal transformer it is 180 degrees phase shift but in case of a current transformer it is not exactly 180 180 plus some error some value will come that is it is known as ratio error it is known as phase angle error ratio error and phase angle error two errors are present in CT. if you apply the tan theta for the phasor diagram bc by ob you will get bc by ob can be written as oa plus ab from that if you substitute if you substitute in place of bc i naught cos del plus alpha oa is nis plus i naught sin del plus alpha now you can get tan theta approximately equal to theta as theta is very small then theta can be written as i naught cos del plus alpha plus nis sin del plus alpha radians you will get but i naught is very very small as compared to nis hence neglecting from above equation theta is you can write theta s i naught cos del plus alpha nis by nis hence you can get theta equal to i naught cos del plus cos del minus cos alpha sin del minus sin alpha by nis theta equal to now you can write like this converting into radians if you convert this into converting this is a radian it is a degrees how to convert the ray one uh, radians into degrees is multi by multiplying by 180 degrees 180 by pi i m cos del minus i c sin del by n i s you will get what are the errors in current transformers there are two types of errors occur in one is the ratio error another one is phase angle error ratio error and phase angle error what is ratio error transformation ratio exactly r r equal to kn minus r by r by r is known as kn is known as nominal ratio r is known as actual ratio transformation ratio by r it is known as ratio error there are two types of errors one is ratio and phase angle error what is ratio error it is uh, simply we can define ratio error ratio error is it is the difference between nominal ratio kn and actual ratio is r by actual ratio it is known as ratio error whereas ratio error percentage ratio error is given by kn minus r by r into 100 what is phase angle error 
in power transformer it is the phase angle of secondary current and primary current is to be displaced exactly 180 degrees already told you what is a exactly 180 degrees phase displacement will be there the phase angle error is given by simply the formula what we derived that is known as phase angle error similarly potential transformer it is quite opposite of current transformer the potential transformer is similar to ordinary transformer or power transformer the basic principle is same as that of current transformers high alternating voltage as induced in in primary winding that is linked with the secondary winding similarly current transformer current transformer primary is connected to load but here normal power transformer potential transformer it is step downs the voltage level high primary winding has more number of turns it is quite opposite of that current transformer but the secondary winding has less number of turns but few turns are there it is connected to voltmeter all the secondary of pts will be 110 volts 110 volts is the pt voltage standard whereas current transformer is 5 amps is secondary current 1000 by 5 like that or pt 11 kv by 110 volts 33 kv by 110 volts like that uh, pt ratios will be there whereas ct ratios will be 1000 by 5 100 by 5 200 by 5 or 10000 by 5 like that uh, primary current secondary current primary voltage secondary voltage for pt primary voltage will be 33 kv secondary voltage will be 110 kv 110 volts not kv it is it is potential transformer it step down the voltage level and it is connected in conjunction with the voltmeter it is used similarly what is the theory of pt normal transformer v2 by v1 v1 by v2 in normal transformer it is ratio can be specified as v1 by v2 equal to n2 by n1 by n2 or v2 by v1 equal to n2 by n1 this is normal transformer what is k equal to n2 by n1 normal transformer k equal to n2 by n1 similarly here also pt also but theory on ratio error phase angle error similar to current transformer but some modifications are required theory of pt similarly what is the circuit the equivalent circuit of transformer we drawn similar to that current transformer all the terms we assumed what are the primary turns primary resistance primary reactance it is known as burden and one more thing is burden previously also resistance button reactance button two buttons we consider two buttons uh, re reactance button it is a re re button resistance ammeter or voltmeter resistance and reactance may be may be considered as button Similarly, we assumed all the terms. After that, uh, the phasor diagram of uh, PT. It is we assumed uh, again so many terms: RS, XS, RP, XP, EP, primary induced voltage. Delta is the phase angle of secondary load current. That is the secondary button. Tan inverse X E by R E. E stands for external button here. Phasor diagram for that. How to draw phasor diagram similar to that current transformer. But. Uh, derivation point of view it is different for PT if you know the current transformer you can easily understand this derivation of actual ratio here we are increasing step by step number of triangles will be formed previously only one triangle is formed here we are increasing step by step by forming the number of triangles with respect to VP to get all the terms are related to all above magnetic flux we take in flux as a reference above that we are using totally primary below that we are using secondary above this is primary terms primary winding related information that is i naught ip primary ep if you but vs is there but reverse the second secondary voltage we are transferring the vs into primary side we have to remember the diagram practice it and draw the phasor diagram after that you can derive after that you can derive similarly that similarly it is total entirely on process 
on triangles so many triangles will be formed on beta also we assume some angle beta similar to that some calculation is required those calculations are explained explanation in this file in this PDF it is very difficult but in blackboard we can easily explain what is PT transformation ratio and all you can prepare you can download the PDF file after that you can prepare this one this is the written by students previous uh, past students triple e derivation of phase angle theta phase angle theta again we are applying theta for the triangle from the phasor diagram as shown in figure tan theta if you apply the triangle o a b like that you will get Similarly, it is a very huge derivation potential transformer ratio error on phase angle error. You can easily understand, but in case of blackboard, we can easily explain that. Similarly, what is a ratio error of PT is Kn minus R, that is a difference between nominal ratio and actual ratio. By actual ratio gives ratio error. Phase angle is theta. Theta is in a 180 degrees phase shift will be. How to, how to construct PTs and CTs? Low reluctance core we are using. Some measures will be considered. Those are using large cross section of the core, keeping the flux density in the core low value. Some important uh, considerations will be for CT and PT construction. Similarly, what are the advantages of instrument transformer? Normal range voltmeter ammeter can be used. Disadvantage of instrument transformer is this instrument transformers are also used in protection power system protection also we are using instrument transformers in relays also we are using instrument transformers this is the theory about totally it is a instrument transformers briefly for that you have to check that file after that you can download thank you